UPS just delivered a box for me. Uh, with the accident that I had out there at Panama, I had to order quite a few things. So this is one of many to come so that I can get her ready to go back on the water to bring you all some great looking footage with that nice crisp audio. I am expecting the last of my packages today. <laughs> it is here. All right, there we go, Amazon Prime. Last of my packages, time to do a, uh, what do you call it, unboxing video. I have been like a little kid during Christmas uh, just waiting to open everything that you see here on the table. I did open one thing, which is this right here. It's a uh, Yak Attack, the Panfish camera mount. Um, but then I told myself, you know what, you need to wait till everything comes in. So now that everything has come in, let's jump right into it and start opening all the things that we've got. Uh, so first things first, need a new GoPro, right? So I went to the store and purchased two of these bad boys right here. Uh, I've got one that's gonna be dedicated to the action hat mount and then the other one uh, for my forward view right inside the, uh, the Hobie cell mass receiver. That's what the mount that I showed you just a minute ago is for. The main reason why I decided to go with the Hero 6 is because it basically, uh, everything that the Hero 5 has, this thing does double of it. Uh, super slow motion shots with I think it's like 240 frames per second. That's going to be insane slow motion. Also, whenever I have these things mounted up here on my action hat mount, the image stabilization is freaking phenomenal. Now this right here cannot do my setup without the classic gold frame. It's uh, made from CNC machined aluminum. Boom, check out this bad boy. Pretty nice. This is a uh, 52 millimeter lens, whereas my old one that I had lost uh, is a 32, I wanna say, or 30 something. Lens cap, gonna protect the Hero 6 up there at the front. And the, so let's backtrack a little bit. The main reason why I bought it I've got these little bitty attachments right here that are gonna mount up here and it's like a cold shoe mount uh, for uh -oh, an extender, which I do not have. I'm gonna have to order that. I thought everything was done. I forgot about that bad boy. But there's a little black extender that I have, which is a V mount, and I'm gonna put the mic on it, which we do not have the mic right now, but we will go to the store today to pick that thing up. Now, let's talk about the juice that is going to power these things. Right here, Wasabi. If you don't know the Wasabi brand, they are super cheap in comparison to the GoPro brand. And whenever I tried them out, I read all the reviews first and foremost to see you know, if I was going to be spending my money on something that was worth it. And with the Hero 4, oh my gosh, these things are well worth it. So I've got this right here. It is the Wasabi triple charger mount plus two batteries. Look just like the Hero 5 and 6 batteries from GoPro. However, it's at a fraction of the cost. So you get two of these batteries right here with that three charger mount. Why? I don't know. You figure if you buy the three charger uh, mount and you would get three batteries. No, they give you two. So what I did was box number two, we've got another Wasabi box that has four more batteries. So in total, I have what? That's four, five, six, seven, eight batteries to get out there and film on the water. That's the same amount of batteries that I would use to go out and film everything thus far. So we've got all of that stuff right there. Batteries taken care of. And then inside this last box, another Yak Attack mount for the camera. So between 
the panfish mount that I have. It's the panfish camera mount portrait, whatever you want to call it. It's got so many links and everything. And then this huge dog bone adapter from Yak Attack. It's the Ram Ball. I prefer Ram Ball versus everything else because the way you can articulate that little ball, it's going to go in so many more directions rather than just being fixed. These things aren't cheap by any means, but whenever you're spending a good $400, $500 for these GoPro cameras and then another $260 for the dedicated mic and then your SD card, which sometimes can get up there to about 100 bucks. Eventually, you're going on into the range of like maybe a thousand dollars just for a camera setup. My do-it-yourself, uh, what do you call it, um, camera mount, it just, uh, it wasn't secure enough. And uh, I needed something that was definitely going to lock into place and not wiggle itself free whenever the swells or water chop, anything starts moving the kayak. The PVC elbows and uh, the actual PVC themselves would wiggle themselves free and then bloop, in the water goes a thousand dollar setup. That's why I bought this thing and the other panfish mount. So that's it for this right here. Let's get to the store and get that mic. One of the things that I absolutely dreaded about the uh, editing process of the Panama series videos was the fact of the uh, the wind gusts. It was just absolutely horrible trying to, in post-production, uh, split each clip into segments to manually lower the volume. Uh, it was horrible, which is uh, why I am super stoked to be able to come here and pick up the new mic because I'm going to be back to that really good audio quality that I have come to expect and hopefully you all have too. This Rode video mic, but that's not the one that I actually want. I want the updated one, the, the Pro. Said online that y'all did. Okay. It's, uh, it's like this one, but it's the video mic Pro. Thank you. <laughs> Sweet. I actually got the last one that they had inside there, so super happy. The camera setup's coming all out together now. Just got one more piece, which I just ordered from Amazon, the little hot shoe V adapter or cold shoe. I'm not sure what the difference is between hot shoe and cold shoe, but it's all coming together and I am super happy. Everything else is here. The post office just, or the postman just came and delivered this last and final box right there, which I am super stoked to finally, finally, look at that. All right. And with these two items right here, the camera setup, new and improved camera setup, is now complete right there. Pro 3.5 millimeter mic adapter, Hero 5, black. Five and six are still the same, so this is gonna work just fine on the Hero 6. And then, can't forget this guy as well. It's the Rode Dead Cat for the Video Mic Pro. Oh man, it's gonna be so awesome having this whole thing to be able to use again good clear crisp audio look at that voila put the gopro inside here and we are back in business baby